The Institute for Earth and Planetary Sciences combines the two Earth Science Departments in Bloomsbury, the one at UCL and the one at Birkbeck. I'm Lars Stixrud. I'm the head of Department of Earth Sciences at UCL. Research in the Institute spans the entire Earth system, from space-based observations of shrinking Arctic sea ice with the Cryosat-2 mission, which we lead, to investigations of the temperature at Earth's center with quantum mechanical supercomputations of the material in Earth's inner core. If you think about it, breadth is important for Earth sciences because whether you're interested in the big questions like the origin of the Earth or its evolution or its past and future habitability, the answers in all of these cases hinge on the interactions between atmosphere, hydrosphere, solid Earth, and biosphere. Deep interconnections among the various research themes in the Institute have emerged naturally. So, for example, um, seismology and rock physics form a natural bridge between studies of crustal dynamics, uh, earthquake and volcanic hazard, and studies of the deep Earth's mantle and core. Environmental geochemistry forms a natural link between studies of paleo environments, uh, modern environmental change, and environmental hazard. Polar observation and modeling uh, forms a bridge between uh, studies of ongoing environmental change at the poles today, between paleoclimatic studies of past ice ages, and, and also to um, uh, studies of other planets, which are also included in the Institute. As researchers in the Institute have followed their curiosity in pursuit of the big questions that we all want to know, how does the Earth work? Um, this has naturally led to benefits to society. So, for example, research in the Institute has alleviated uh, arsenic pollution of groundwater in Bangladesh. It's alleviated uh, seismic and volcanic hazard and risk in various parts around the world. It's helped to locate and to utilize new resources of energy. And it's also allowed us to quantify the pace of environmental change caused by global warming.